Hello Virgo and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week of May 17th and this is a very general reading. Virgo, this could be an interesting week for you. I see for some of you this could be a past love, someone who's quite mysterious, um, secretive, I don't know, you find that person that way, um, thoughts of that person. I see flirtatious energy. And what I see here is this can be a quick affair. And this could be secret, secret affair. Um, but I don't feel, you know, I feel like it's just a quick fling <laughs> for what I'm seeing here. There are some secrets here, okay? Now, this doesn't even have to be just um, in love, but there are some secrets here. OK, um, secrets going on with you and others. So there is there something below the belt here, <laughs> I want to say. Um, so, yeah, and some. I feel delays or things are still a process. You have to be more positive and I think you will. There's a, like a lack like of a turn, a little bit of energy here. But there's a lot of strong attractions, a lot of strong energy here coming through. It's an up and down. Okay. Oh, yeah. A lot of secret affairs, meaning people around you and you as well. So dealing with um, keeping more quiet. Um, this could be affairs of the heart, affairs of anything. I do see a lot of that um, happening here as well. Um, there's a sense of a lot of elimination as well. So there's a sense of purging, elimination. So this could be internal purging too and a lot of things that have been going on. And ultimately, you're taking your power back, okay? So yeah, for good or for bad, however you want to look at that. For some of you, you may realize or, you know, you're putting a stop to someone who's been taking advantage of you and it's like, nope, done. Um, and that's going to create more of a positive tone. You're thinking more positively. You're thinking more about what serves you better too. But there's a very high drive here. You have like this very high energy. You want to succeed. It's a perfectionist type of energy. Okay. So you want to succeed. So you're looking how to, you know, hustle and bustle and try to um, get things going. But just know that some things are still a process. I see you could be dealing with red tape. All right, but you know, one step at a time. Definitely taking back your power. For a lot of you, I feel you're making some plans for the next two months. That's another thing I'm seeing here. You're separating from someone or something, okay, that no longer serves you or who has been um, abusing your good nature. You also need to know that you have to take some time for yourself and relax a little because I see really kind of um, anxiety or overpowered type of energy. You could be dealing with also a Taurus this week. Expect the unexpected. Don't be stuck on plans in that because I do see there could be some sudden changes, quick um, moving changes. You may be also making some of these changes. Um, I do see there is happy energy. Okay, so there's a lot of thoughts of the uh, past for some of you. It could be also thinking of the great old times. Um, I do see happiness here. It is there for you. Uh, this is like making a decision. For some of you, you may have to make a decision. Now, this could be also someone that you did not talk to in a while. Um, there was like a miscommunication or shutdown in communication, and that kind of reopens up a lot. But there's a strong connection here. This could be an ex, okay? This could be someone from the past, someone from, um, you know, where you felt bound to, tied to, or there's a strong connection just be careful of not repeating the same old bad cycles and also like retracting or I'm going into, you know, it's like we sometimes go into kind of escapism, I want to say. Now, I do see that there are some challenges ahead for you. you know, okay, so I do see that. There can be some drama around you. Um, there could be a lot to get done this week as well. Uh, don't take on too much that you feel stuck. Okay, don't restrict yourself this month. Don't take on more than you can or bite off more than you can chew. 
communication is coming in really strongly here. I do see this is like um, dating for some of you, forming a bond, a stronger bond. Now, for some of you, you may have an important conversation with someone. This could be a current love or someone you've been dating and you kind of have this nice, amicable way of breaking up like agreeing to disagree and just going your own ways okay so i do see a parting of the ways for some of you but it looks amicable for some of you all right so i do see that energy i see some people may surprise you and walk away from you this week or just leave or you may be doing that because there's the energy is both ways too you have to follow your intuition you have high manifestation here too Okay, there are warning signs too, so I do see that energy, so follow your intuition. For some of you, you may be joining a new group of people, a new, um, I don't know, this could be a club, association, asso associating with new people, this could be a, a group of people. This could be also a religious retreat or a, a, a new religion, um, a group of like, that's, it. yeah, it could be a club or religion, I'm seeing that kind of energy, remember it's a, it's a very general reading. You're on a new path, okay? This can spark new ideas, new epiphanies, and new paths. So there is a, a definitely a new journey opening up for um, Virgo. But I see a lot of secret affairs, a lot of um, elimination, and definitely taking back your power. So, okay? All right, Virgo, that was your reading for the week of May 17th. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best, and bye for now.